Today we will be learning about a line balancing problem. I hope that you must have been passed through different types of layout when you were in the industries. Basically this line balancing problem deals with product type of layout. Now let us consider what are the uh, let us consider uh, one example where the different tasks are given task times are given in minutes and precedence ship is given. Now basic or the main disadvantage of product type of layout can be that each station will have their own processing time. So let us see that here there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stations. And if we consider different tasks assigned to them that A, B, C, D, E and F. They are having time as 5 minutes, 4 minutes, 13 minutes, 9 minutes, 7 minutes and 6 minutes. These are the tasks and these are the task times. This is given as precedent ship. Now before solving the line balancing problem, we need to keep in mind this relationship. Right. Now uh, uh, let us assume that requirement of product is 24 units per day. Hmm. And uh, what we, uh, what are the objectives of doing this exercise that we have to remove imbalance from the product line and we have to satisfy the requirement which is 24 units right. uh, now before doing this exercise we must have to focus on precedence now let us do the first step will be we have to find the cycle time and second will be we have to find the theoretical minimum number of workstations. These are workstations. Now they are six. And third, then we have to do the assignment. Fine. Now let us see how this can be done. I am just turning out the, this page for the sake of convenience. See. The first step is to find the cycle time. Cycle time is the ratio of available time <laughs> divided by requirements. The available time can be uh, uh, can be get by uh, considering that eight hour shift. So available time will be eight hours multiplied by sixty minutes, and the requirement is twenty four. This comes from here, so it will be divided by twenty four, and it is. 20 20 minutes so this is our cycle time now we have to find the uh, theoretical minimum number of workstations so it is how can we get that to find out the theoretical minimum number of workstation we will add this task time so this will come 4 plus 9 9 18 24, 24 plus 7, 31, 31 plus 13, it is 44 minutes. So it is uh, 44 divided by the uh, new cycle time that we find out. So it will be around 
टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड सिंस इट इज नॉट अ फुल नंबर वी विल टेक इट एज अ थ्री सो नाउ वी डू हैव साइकिल टाइम इज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एंड थियोरिटिकल मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ वर्क स्टेशन इज थ्री नाउ वील रीअरेंज दिस लाइन विथ थ्री स्टेशन एंड दिस साइकिल टाइम वी विल LOT rule. LOT rule means largest operation time rule, right? This is one. This page is two. And here now we are doing balancing of line on page number three. Now we do have three as the theoretical number of stations. One, two, and three. Now what I will do? I will observe the task given and the task times associated with them, and again I will keep in mind the precedence relationship. So according to the LOT rule, LOT rule for the very first station, I will assign the task A because there is not any uh, precedence ship associated with A. and here i can assign a since the cycle time are 20 minutes so i am putting 28 each station a consumes 5 units of time again now i am here uh, with 15 minutes left so for 15 minutes i can assign b c or d now to satisfy the precedence relationship i can assign b so b again it consumes 4 so here it is total 9 again i do have 11 minutes left with me but i cannot assign any of them so i'm moving to the next stations the other station number 2 this has been assigned a and b here i can assign c because a has been assigned so c can be assigned here C consumes 13 minutes. Here I am left with seven minutes, so I can assign. I can assign uh, E because E will consume seven units and its precedence is C, so I can assign them. So here it is total occupied. I am moving on the workstation three. there i do i now i am I, i have already assigned a b c and e a b c and e i am left with d and f now considering the precedence ship i can i should assign d and d consumes 9 and, and now i can assign f because f consumes 6 and their precedence are d and e and they have already been assigned here And f is equal to six. Now we can observe. Here, the total assignment is of nine. Here, the total assignment is of twenty units of time, and here the total assignment is of fifteen units of time. So, by this way, we can balance our line. If we observe this line, um, the cycle time is twenty units. This line produces. 24 pieces of the products per day and it is efficient than the previous line here here this was the bottleneck operation and hence it was the cycle time it was controlling the flow of the line and again the line was not efficient so it is efficient line which is producing uh, 24 units compared to the previous line so and by this way we can uh, proceed for the balancing of line with lot rule thanks okay.